Hello there. You may be surprised to see me here because I did say recently that I probably wasn't going to be making long form videos for a while. I didn't say ever, I said for a while. So I feel like that was the disclaimer. And you know, what is for a while for me may be different to what is for a while for you. So anyway, I'm here guys because I wanted to um, mentally unload on you basically, but not just mentally unload. I wanted to just put this out there because um, basically I have a problem. I have many problems. This is the tip of the iceberg problem, but I have many problems, but I wanted to talk about it because I don't really see a lot of people talking about this. And I just thought maybe like it's always good to have like a healthy, open conversation. So basically I've been dealing with insomnia for the past i'd say like five months or so and and when i say insomnia which of course you hear a lot of people talking about insomnia when i say insomnia i don't mean insomnia in terms of like struggling to go to sleep because i, th I think that when people think of insomnia the first thing that comes to mind is struggling to actually get off to sleep there's many different types of insomnia but the type of insomnia that I am struggling with is called maintenance insomnia. And what that means is that I don't have any problems like going to sleep. That's just like not an issue for me at all. But I have a problem staying asleep. So, and this is the crazy thing about it is that it's, it's such a routine. Like it's such a routine in that I'll usually fall asleep around like 10 o'clock and then just like clockwork, like I've got an internal alarm clock at around three o'clock every morning, like my brain, it's, the best way I can think to describe it is that it's like someone switched a switch on my brain, like a light switch, or like if you're switching a computer on, you like press the button. So someone's like switched or like my brain's just switched itself on, and it's like awake, and there's no getting back to sleep. And it's not as if I wake up and think, like, I don't think to myself, oh, I'm still tired. Like at that time, after I've had like, maybe like five hours of sleep, my brain's just ready to go. I don't wanna be laying in bed, sleeping. No, we have things to do, girlfriend. And there's just no getting back to sleep. So like, I've always been a morning person, like always, I've never been someone that, lies in like I don't lie in I don't understand lying in and if I could have one like magic power you know when people, people say if you could have any magic power in the world what would you have and people say oh flying teleportation which actually yeah teleportation I would love to but I would love to be able to not need sleep or just be fine off an hour of sleep because I just feel like sleep is a huge waste of time I would rather be productive and you, you're basically missing out on half your life. Or if you're me, like whatever, five hours a day times seven times 365 and then the, the, for the rest of my life. It's such a waste just laying there in bed. I mean, I, I hope that in the future, if you know we evolve further, if we don't blow ourselves up, I really hope that we evolve to only need like an hour's sleep because it's, it's just a massive waste of time. We're not on the earth for long anyway. Uh, so like, why do we need to be like unconscious for most of it? But anyway, obviously I'm not because my brain decides we need to get up now, girl, go, go, go. We do not have time to be laying in this bed. So I've always been a morning person, never been an issue really at all. But then the last like few months, I've just been waking up at three. And then in the past, like, well, just recently, my brain's pushing it further to like half two. So my brain just wakes up. It's like, yo, 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 girlfriend, let's go get coffee, get you going. And, and I get up and it's fine at the time. The moment when I'm getting out of bed, it seems fine. It's like, oh, it's fine. If my body's had enough sleep, it's fine. So then I get up and I'm okay for the first five hours, but then my kids then get up. And it's at that point that I usually start crashing and I just feel like a zombie all day. So this has been a real issue for me. And I wanted to just discuss it and see, you know, is anyone else having an issue? Like, if like you, you do have this as an issue, what have you found that has worked for you? So far, I've tried 
Nightall, which is basically is like a anti-allergy slash hay fever tablet. It's a, a, like an antihistamine based kind of situation. So it's herbal um, and it's meant to be like short term relief for, you know, if you're struggling to, to sleep. So I tried that for a couple of weeks and it worked, like it worked really well. I was definitely like, I was sleeping for longer. I was getting up at like five instead of three. So that kind of worked, but then we had the side effects, which were like constantly like runny nose. Basically I'd ha I had hay fever side effects because I don't have hay fever. And I feel like the antihistamine then triggered like hay fever symptoms in me. So I was just like constantly blowing my nose. And it was just, I was loving the fact I was getting more sleep, but then I didn't like constantly blowing my nose. And also you can only take it for like two weeks. It's like a short term like treatment kind of thing. So we tried night oil. I then tried night nurse, which is, it's kind of like a cold and flu, like relief, um, but it also knocks you out. Like I would say, if you're struggling with cold, flu, sinus issue, you just feel generally shitty, try night nurse. Oh, wow, wow, wow. She tastes like shit, but she really knocks you out. Like, and she was great. She gave me, again, a longer night's sleep. But, but like with everything else, you can only take her for like two weeks. It's not a permanent thing. Like the, like the night oil's herbal, but then still, you know, you have side effects. Night nurse is not herbal. And that's definitely not something you should be taking long term. It could be addictive. So I've tried those two and um, obviously kind of successful, but kind of not. So then I ended up speaking to the doctor. The doctor prescribed me Zoplicone, which is a sedative. Of course, the sedative worked and I had no bad side effects apart from the fact that I had a really strange metallic taste in my mouth the next day, which was bizarre. I don't know why a sleeping tablet would do that. Maybe because I was asleep for a lot longer than usual. My mouth isn't used to being closed for that long. I don't know. But Zoplicone worked. I only had a seven day supply. So as soon as you stop taking it, back to waking up at three o'clock again. So then I spoke to the doctor. My doctor hates me, honestly. Like I, I'm the probably my doctor's least favourite patient. So then I was back on the phone again. I'm not getting sleep. I'm getting up at like three, blah, 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 blah. Um, so now the doctor has prescribed me nortriptyline, which is actually an antidepressant and like anti-anxiety kind of thing. It's it's not a benzodiazepine, it's something trislalacapine. It's mainly an antidepressant basically, but the, the doctors can prescribe it off-label for sleep issues. So I tried that for the first time last night. I had a wonderful sleep. Um, but I do worry a bit about taking an antidepressant because I don't really think I am depressed. So then I think, is it going to like alter my brain chemistry? I don't know, but then I'm getting a good night's sleep. So, you know, you've got to like weigh up the pros and cons. So I'm going to be giving that one a go. And if it works, I think I can just keep taking it. Obviously, I would prefer not to have to take anything, but I also really need to get a good night's sleep. Um, the... <clears throat> oh, one sec. I've got a really dry mouth. I mean, really. But when I was speaking to my doctor, like the doctor suggested melatonin, which was the most unhelpful suggestion by my doctor of all time, because the doctors can't prescribe melatonin. Apparently, it's super regulated in our country. I think the psychiatrists can prescribe, but basically she was like dangling the golden carrot saying, oh, you could have this. This would probably really help, but we can't do anything about that. Sorry. So... Um, yeah, melatonin, I believe, is really, really, really good for sleep issues. And um, I, I know that if you live probably anywhere but the UK, you can just go into a chemist and buy it. But for whatever reason, it's ring fenced here. I don't know what I would have to do to buy it, but I can't buy it, which is a, a piss take, to be honest. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know, like, the problems, what I am dealing with right now. I would really appreciate if you could help, basically. If you could help, if you've got any suggestions, if you, you've been through this. Um, uh, I know a lot of people have been through not being able to fall asleep, but I'm, I'm mostly, like, interested to hear feedback from people that are fine going to sleep, but it's just 
the waking up at like it, it always seems to be three o'clock as well which is bizarre like when you google maintenance insomnia everyone seems to wake up at three three is like the magic number i don't know are we built differently is there some really important task we're meant to be doing at three that we just are not aware of yet i just don't know so yeah i would really appreciate any thoughts or just anything guys if you know where to get melatonin from in the uk i would really appreciate like a little heads up that would be great so anyway guys i'm gonna go i actually had a really good sleep last night because i had that no trip to lean thing so um i'm feeling great today like uh, yesterday i was a zombie and today i'm like i feel like i can do anything so sleep is important so important and it's annoying because every night i go to bed like so early but then i'm the one that's tired and then you've got honey's go to bed at two in the morning he's not tired it seems so cruel honestly but anyway guys i am going to go um thank you so much for watching and i will um await any interesting like comments you might have so i'm gonna go okay bye bye